this is my first video blog with hip braces so it's a little awkward for me <laughs> and I'm a little self-conscious about the teeth that are in the process of being realigned so um, I guess you're going to be on this journey with me over the next two years of doing videos with funny teeth so anyway I wanted to talk to you today about understanding compassion and forgiveness and how we can use them to heal our story so I've had people ask me how is it that we can get past these pain stories that we have um, in this re most recent blog post I was talking about how the boys were attacking me and throwing stones at me and how I was able to let that go you see I I actually let go of resistance and resentment toward that story a really long time ago and that was through this understanding and compassion for those little boys that I was able to let it go. I mean, one of the things that we talk about a lot is this idea of forgiveness and forgiveness actually means already given. And the way that this is possible is that when we look at a circumstance through the eyes of understanding and through the eyes of compassion, we can start to see how forgiveness really becomes a given. Uh, I talk about this a lot in my book, Transcending Fear, and I wrote the book, Transcending Fear, really to be able to share the practical principles for how to heal your life and how to... Uh, transcend some of those fear-based beliefs so that you can create a life that you love and really it was my own healing journey my own journey of trying to understand where my blocks were I ended up turning it into a book so anyway the reason that I'm here today is to talk to you about how to let go of some of our really hurtful stories and how for one for ourselves once we let go of our own stories then we can start to carry that same process of understanding and forgiveness back through the entire human story because see right now a lot of us are holding ourselves emotionally hostage to uh, experiences of our own past and resentment toward ourselves and resentment toward other people who caused us suffering as our perception of what happened to us and in the same token that's also happening globally what's happening as far as pain and suffering with other people and we've even used that as a way to hold on to againstness toward our experiences in the past as a collective for example when one culture has done something to hurt another culture in the past and the only way that we're going to be able to heal those cultural sufferings if you will is if we heal it inside of ourselves so I really want to get into a little bit of how to have that be a process in your own life. So I'll take a quick look at this story of the boys who threw stones at me. When I wanted to get to a place of really freeing myself from the captivity of holding myself emotionally hostage to other people's actions, which is really what forgiveness is, is liberating ourselves from the pain and suffering we feel as a response to other people's choices and other people's actions. So ultimately, spiritual freedom is freeing ourselves from other people's stuff and really learning how to hold ourselves in this space of inner peace and heaven within ourselves. And so the way to do that is first through self-forgiveness. And self-forgiveness, like other forgiveness, really comes through understanding and compassion. So number one, it is about understanding in this particular scenario that I never did anything wrong I didn't do anything to make those boys want to hurt me those boys hurting me was their choice and their responsibility and their perception of what the Bible said was okay for them to do and so I'm not holding myself responsible for their actions and understanding that I didn't do anything wrong and holding myself in compassion and seeing that I was just a hurt little girl and holding them in compassion and understanding that they were just little boys and and holding myself in compassion and understanding that I was doing the very best I could with what I knew and so were they ultimately that's what forgiveness is all about is understanding that every human being is doing the very best they can with what they know 
and that when they when people cause suffering onto another person it's because they're feeling suffering within themselves so in holding myself in compassion and holding myself in understanding then i can hold myself in forgiveness and be able to say that i forgive myself for ever believing that i did anything to deserve being hurt i forgive myself for ever believing that i did anything wrong and i forgive myself for believing that any girl deserves to suffer for something that she did that causes boys or causes men to act harmfully against her and against myself. See, ultimately, this isn't my story. This is every story of every woman that has ever been affected and harmed by the masculine and us taking ownership of their choices and their actions. So this is about all of us learning to forgive our own stories and learning how to forgive the collective story so that we as humanity can move forward. This is about taking and applying this understanding of self-love, self-compassion, self-understanding and self-forgiveness, applying it to ourselves and then also taking that and applying it to the human story as a whole. I hope that helps. It certainly has made an impact in my life, my ability to release and let go of the suffering that I had once attached to some of these really painful stories in my past. And until next time, mwah.